Um, so this is the 7.1.5 PTR. Um, I'm going to be having a look at the Arcane Mage. Um, and I'm going to be having a look at effectively two builds, which will be split into separate videos, which is the Haste build and the Burst build. Um, haste, bur haste build initially is just Temporal Flux Quickening, basically. Um, and I'll go through my reasoning as to why I've chosen these talents um, as we move through. And the burst build is effectively what I believe to be based entirely on Rune of Power, Overpowered, and the Legendary Ring. Um, because it can be uh, quite ridiculous um, what I think can happen. But anyway, we'll go through that um, at a later date at some point. Um, I'm expecting some changes to come through because for people that don't have Legendary Legs, uh, the haste build probably won't work. And people without a legendary ring, uh, overpowered probably won't work. Um, so yeah, the mana cost increase on quickening here, uh, the five percent haste is something I've talked about for a while on the forums for a very long time. Um, basically said, bring the stacks down, but increase the speed at which uh, you get haste. So yeah, um, what we'll do is we'll run through a quick burst phase, maybe one or two, and basically call it because people watching this probably already know how to play Arcane um, or have a rough idea of how it works, um, mainly guildies who shout at me for playing Fire. But yeah, um, I don't have any add-ons, I've only got Scada right now. Um, I'll quickly configure this and then uh, we'll start. Cool, right. So we're going to be DPSing this on Skull. Um, the only cleave we're going to get, firstly I'll go through my talents actually, but the only cleave we're going to get will be from Unstable Magic and um, a Barrage, both of which probably do physical damage. Uh, so Temporal Flux, this is ridiculous, this is 20% haste, uh, four stacks. Shimmer uh, replaced Ice Flows, um, so we have to use Shimmer, mainly because it would be common to go an entire fight without actually using Displacement, um, which is ridiculous. Um, Rune of Power, nerfed by 10%, the other two are trash. So basically, this tier got nerfed by 10%. Okay, whatever. Supernova got buffed slightly, but the other two are pretty shit. Resonance is still ridiculous in dungeons. Um, and I can imagine doing low level dungeons, not high level mythics, because that's something completely different. Resonance and Arcane Orb will be two huge things that you'll have to deal with um, because this has been increased by nearly six times damage and went from 80% to 500% spell power scaling. And resonance is, is still really good. Um, Corner Shift is good, but it's good compared to the other shit talents. So, uh, yeah, it's something. Unstable Magic got buffed by 5%. I think this was a stealth buff, because uh, it was 15% on life. It is 15% on life. And then Tempest got nerfed. Nothing much we can do about that. And Erosion's 8%. And because it's, a, because it's static, it's something we're going to just have to deal with. It's something we're just going to have to deal with. And one of these would mathematically better than not one than the other. That's that's simply how it works. Um, so yeah, and quickening is ridiculous. Uh, quickening is something that I've spoken about in the forums, as I've said previously. Um, this has been changed to be pretty insane. Um, I can't track my mana properly that I'm used to. I'm used to having a massive number in the middle of my screen, so I won't be able to play this perfectly, but you'll get a good feel of how it plays. So we'll begin with uh, going to eat roughly. Uh, I'm going to eat and flask, I'm going to hero, and then go ape shit into this dummy and see how it goes. Um, currently on live, I've done uh, so average about 430k DPS. I've done 520k on my Thendra, or 514k on my Thendra, um, which is, I think, the second highest mage DPS in the world, um, which is pretty ridiculous. But I had double hero. So I won't have double hero here. So this will be a great indicator of just burst. Right, so let's flask and we'll go. We'll probably go for one or two bursts um, and then just see how the conserve feels because the conserve damage is the really important part um, because quickening doesn't need to be built up and there's almost no point in building it up because you won't have enough mana to finish effectively. So all right, we'll see how this goes.
So Supernova is a great buffer for things like the legendary legs. I feel like my mana regen is increasing faster as well, um, which is a very interesting point. Let me just check haste. Yeah, okay. Mm. So we can go for another burst phase soon. Um, I'm sticking on two rune of powers because I'm interested to see if I can burst and then evocate with rune of power. Right, let's see what this is like. Don't actually get a full round of okay. That's interesting. Hmm. I'll wait for this arcane blast. Oh, holy shit! How much mana is that? So what I really like about the Arcane changes is the Arcane Charge change for Temporal Flux. It means that when you want to get rid of Arcane Missiles like this, look how fast they get rid of them. I mean, that was a horrible example, but yeah, like they just disappear because you've got that hate. Never mind, I'm retarded. That's just quickening. Yeah, it's just quickening. Right, cool. Uh, we'll have Arcane Power in 10 seconds, so we'll see if we can have some mana for then, so I can start conserving. Or properly conserving, anyway. Right, now we're going to bed. This is probably the point where I'd double hero, if I had it, but I don't, so I'm not. Right, second. So it's about 500k sustain. That's pretty insane. And I can imagine with full mana. Um, I can imagine with four mana and time warp with arcane power would be pretty ridiculous. But I still feel I'm limited by mana, even having the um, fuck off, even having the legendary legs. So I think um, this will only become better with legendaries. I think with the new legendary, actually, with something like sorry, yeah, this is how used I'm playing arcane is I can just play it without barely looking. With something like gravity spiral. Will be insane. That's that's two charges on evocate. That's absolutely ridiculous. That means you'll be able to do three burst phases. Don't get me wrong. You basically, I think you'd have to barrage between those because of how much arcane blast would cost. Right. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait because I don't have enough mana. Right, let's burst through this and then go for a massive burst phase with loads of quick. It's a good point to know, Arcane Missiles doesn't actually um, reset quickening. Not anymore. Alright, let's see what this is like. Has to be the quickest anyone's ever burnt from mana ever. That's insane. But yeah, it's looking about 480k and maybe 500k sustained if I'm if I've got my add-ons and I'm not being retarded. So that's pretty good. Cool. Right. In the next video, I'll try um, playing around with overpowered.
Um, seeing what talent combinations get retarded damage with that. Right, cool. See you in the next one.